So I'm about to mount this towel bar and I wanna show you a little trick I use. I'll just hold it up to my level and mark where the brackets go. That way all I'm doing is dealing with the level. I can get it center, I can get it level and then just transfer my marks from the level to the wall. Seems to be easier and cuts down on chances of making a mistake. I'm using this little battery powered blower as a vacuum to pull a string through this pipe to run the power lines through. We didn't have a vacuum on the job so I had to get creative and it worked great. It was probably about a hundred foot run with two elbows and it was no problem. Three ways to get a square cut on a two by four. First method, use your square, draw a straight line, cut along your line. Second method, use your square as a fence. Hold it tight to the two by four, run your saw along your square. Third method is eyeball it slash use your base plate to keep it square on the two by four. Here it is again, keep it square, run it across. And for the haters, it is square. It's not that hard to do. Try it before you knock it. I hate digging with a brand new shovel or post hole diggers. So this is what I did. Took my grinder and quickly sharpened up that edge. Now, I don't know if you'd call this a helpful tip or what, but it sure made cutting through those roots so much easier. This is one step you definitely don't want to forget when you're done for the day and you're cleaning up. Clean your bucket up real good. Just go around the edges and get all that mud that's stuck to the sides down in there. That's why I like this buddy tool scoop so much. It does a great job. Take a sponge or a rag and just get all that mud that's up here on the edges that's kind of been drying up throughout the day. That way it doesn't dry up and fall into your mud next time you use it and cause you a bunch of problems or you end up having to clean up the top inch and you waste all that mud and waste all that time. When you're doing remodel work, one of the first things you do is take down your light fixtures and those are usually one of the last things to go back up. So what we like are these pigtails. You can buy these and then you can just connect them to your wires and you'll have a good temporary light source. And there you go. It's quick, it's easy, and it's safe. I'm sure everyone knows you can plunge cut a circular saw, maybe even a reciprocator, but did you know you can even plunge cut a jigsaw? Let me demonstrate right here. First, the circular saw. Pull that guard up. That front set. No big deal. Next, the sawzaw. Next, the jigsaw. All right, now you know you can plunge cut all three of these saws. I hope that was helpful to you.